Alright everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play uh, Wind Waker. And we are on Dragon Roost Island officially, and I have a guest with me. Hi, my name is Dana. It's Dana! Except actually you guys know Jeff, he's from like two of the three Let's Fuck Around series. Um, and so he's like spending the night here. I meant to record this another night, but he ended up coming over and I was like, fuck it, we're gonna record some Wind Waker here. And he's like, alright, let's get some Wind Waker all up in this business. So now we're playing it, and it's pretty sexy. Anyways, oh, psh, I wasn't paying attention to the screen. I want to check something. All right, it's recording. It's just fine. Woo! All right, nice blueberry fail. It, it's it's an explosive <laughs> blueberry. Well. All right, there we go. Because we need that to get past. Oh, damn it. Oh, there was one right here. D fail. Ah. Uh. I like how the explosive blueberries just kind of form. Um, th and they form so quickly, too. Are there space-exploding blueberries? They're from outer space, yes. Oh, <laughs> I thought that would be at such a distance in which it cannot hurt me. But I was wrong. There's a blueberry there. I can see it. And I'm using it. Here gets ass. Alright. <gasps> no! God damn! Link, this is all your goddamn fault, okay? Wait, there's a mini rock we can blow up here, so it's a good thing we came back down here. And what do you want about there's gonna be something absolutely useless? Like a blueberry? Like nothing! <laughs> oh wait, one rupee. Okay, let's st still really fucking useless. Uh, I thought I'd be able to climb up that wall. Sad fish. Alright, so... It's not high enough for you... No, it's too high for you to climb. Alright, here comes secret agent Link. Secret Agent Link! Secret Agent Link! Crawling against the side of Dragon Roost! Blue Rupee! Okay, good thing that's not the only thing over here. That would be really lame. Oh god! Darn it! Wait, 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 wait. We can totally get back up there very easily from this point on. No, we can't. I'm just gonna cut it out till we get back up there. Alright, so after that little failure right there, let's let's just go ahead and try it again without... Damn it, Blueberry! You can't do anything with Blueberry. I can't wait till I actually get my own bombs. Okay, good. Well, that was lucky. Yeah, I know. It exploded right in the air and... What? That was Lucky Charms. Is that... That's Shadow the Hedgehog. My son? My son, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Is that so? I didn't even say anything! How the fuck do you know what I'm talking about? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, my son. Would you like to meet our sh chieftain? I've, I've told my people here about you, and all of us, Rito, are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, my son. I'll be waiting. Chaos Emeralds! His father's a bird? No, that's... Uh, yeah, actually, that is his father. He's everybody's son, so it's my father, and uh, we're gonna head into like the inside of Dragon Roost, and and we're in a place full of birds. They're all birds. They can all fly because they're awesome. Cause of Valu's anger, Valu is the big dragon that sits on top of the mountain, who's raging over something, pulling on his tail. Quill has told me all about you. A troubled tale indeed. Yeah, they. Of course, I spoiled that just now, by the way. Um, because you're not supposed to know what's making him so angry until you actually get into the mountain and work your way up through there. But, um, that's totally what's pissing him off. When you arrived on the island, did you notice a raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of. We of the Rito tribe are profoundly 
connected to the sky. We oh oh no shit, you only have wings. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit Valu. When the, when a Rito reaches adulthood, <laughs> a Dorito, ha ha ha, reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to s receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that it, that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledg fledglings yes. who are who are of age will will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless. Why is that highlighted? And in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Chieftain, what do you think of consulting my son with regards to your son, Prince Komali? As you can see, my son is a gallant, no, gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Komali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. <clears throat> this may be. Let me, no, let me be direct. My son, Komali, is one of, <laughs> ha, he's actually, st okay, never mind. My name is my son, he said my son, Komali, okay. I'm sorry, I got our names confused. He may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet my will you meet with my son? Oh sweet, somebody with the same name? <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to go meet <laughs> Wow, I've never met anybody else named my son. You people are cool. A young girl na no a young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? What is it? It's it. What is it? You want it all, but you can't have it. Oh. Yeah, we got a delivery bag. <clears throat> Finally crafted bags like this are used by Rita Postman everywhere. So many pockets, you can hold many items. Selected on the item screen, yeah. Another sem semi-useless item. Alright, in the meanwhile, blah, blah, blah. I gotta go find Medley and be like, Oh my god! So, so Jeff. Yes. You're not saying much. Is it because of all the dialogue getting in your yes, way? Yes, the dialogue. Well, I did think of something before. If it's a dragon and something's pulling on its tail, is the dragon so fat and lazy that I can't do anything? <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. Wow, you really do have green clothes and... No, no, these, these highlighted letters are green, so I have to say them differently. Well, wow, you really do have green clothes and strange-shaped hat. You're my son, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. My son... He wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. You accepted father's letter. Okay, yeah, basically a letter from his father saying, I, I, I don't know what it says, but it probably says, talk to Link because he's cool. And he has the same name as you, my son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blah, 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 unimportant stuff that she said she'll explain later. She had the biohazard symbol on her shirt. Does that mean she's biohazardous? Uh, like, explain the white skin. I guess. Well, what would explain the white skin? I mean, that's not really a deformality. They're already weird enough. They have wings. They're bird people. Yeah, but the rest of them are brown. And oh my god, he has a Dragon Ball! <laughs> Wait, no. It looks like it has musical notes on it. So is it one of the musical sphere things from Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix? Do we have to dance our way up the mountain? <laughs> huh? In this part, we had to break dance. <laughs> huh? Who are you supposed to be? What? What do you want from me, huh? 
I, I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Ugh, I'm depressed, teen angst. What do you want from me, huh? Okay, wait. Oh, I know what to do here. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Hi. Uh -huh. A letter? From my father? You know, your father's right outside. Why couldn't he just come in and tell you this? Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go and get the scale from Valo. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valo right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get the scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can you can calm that Valo down? I didn't say jack shit, okay? Psh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all those obstacles on Dragon Roost and get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. What a dick. So, um, so what's your thoughts on him, Jeff? I think he's short. That a lot of them are short in this game. I'm pretty short in this game. Yeah, and you run into uh stairs. Yeah. You ever you ever watch that uh pebble right there? Oh boy. <laughs> I might I might bash my head into a rock. Yeah. That's sitting on the ground, an invisible rock that's about an inch tall. And That'll where'd Medley go? Heart. No way she disappeared. How mysterious. Teleporting white girl? Ooh, ooh, I think she's out here somewhere. Or maybe not. She should be, like, down there or somewhere. Uh, let's talk to this dude, see if he has anything to say. Wow, you look weird. Just expect to behave as he just looked down there, Jerry was pawn. Oh, that's completely useless. Alright, so basically, I think now we actually have to go talk to, uh, Prince Kamali's father. Who is, I don't know where. So let's go outside and be like, is she outside? <gasps> and check. And. No, that's not. What the fuck is up with your hair? No, I'm staying away from you. You, you creep me out because of your hair. They all have weird hair. All right, I don't think I, sh I don't think I should jump down there. I don't have the grappling hook yet, so I can't go through there. Up, oh, just totally spoiled what what we're gonna get here. Oh well, it doesn't matter. A lot of people already know what happens in this damn game, so it's not like it, uh, spoiling things really matters. It's a playthrough, it's not a, oh my god, this game just came out thing. Oh no, this game totally just came out. Oh yeah, look at these new HD graphics. This is like Xbox 360 worthy right here. Beats all those modern shooters, doesn't it? Yep. Halos has nothing on this shit. Okay, seriously. Where am I supposed to go? This is this is frustrating. Oh, wait, I think I know. I has an idea. <clears throat> You're gonna go poke the blue statues? Yep. The blue popsicles? Well see, one of them has that on it and it's all like, ooh, new song. So now we have to be all like, hey Wind Waker, you yeah. And this song is vitally important. Because if we don't learn it, that means we're going to die. You learned the wind's requiem. Now basically, we, contro we can control the uh, direction of the wind. Oh, and we get visited by this freaky guy. <clears throat> yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. Toady! My name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you the, it gives you control over direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is, miff, uh, is miffed about his monument here being broken. 
and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So, if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chest, chest, chest does, ch thank you, Jeff. Thank, thank you. My brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you.